by Allah you will never believe you will never have faith until you love first he used the word first sallallahu if you haven't found love you haven't found faith yet. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. There's something special when we come together for his sake with a righteous intention. Hopefully this is what we all want to attain, which is called a this ba'ath, this powerful urge that causes you and I to take our religious lives seriously. Ya Rabbi salli alayhi wa you will never go to Jannah until you believe, and you will never believe until you love one another. The question I'm asking you, do you love one another? You see, it's easy to say, yeah, yeah, I love you, I love you, I love you, but really, do you really, really love? The way that they entered into this world and exited out of it, they didn't lose themselves in this material world. They maintained their integrity, they maintained their purpose, they maintained their dignity. That's what Islam offers. Dignity. Dignity. This isn't supposed to be perfect. This is not a place of permanent abode. This is a place of sowing. And the next life is a place of reaping. Depressed, anxious, but the believer, deep down, should be an ocean of calmness. Why? Because we know that Allah is ala kulli shay'in qadir. He is one in his essence and in what he does, and everything in the world is the consequence of his decisions. Stand inside a forest, listen to the sound of breezes through the branches and the insects all around. Bend toward the earth, place your head upon the ground. This is a calling for us to tap into our fitra so we can be the moral compass that this world is so in need of. We must stand for those who cannot speak the people, plants and animals, the fragile and the meek. You can entertain the mind of the human being once you've catered for the heart of the human being first. But if the heart is uncamed and it's uncatered for, the pain won't allow that person to think and move forward. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam cared for the hearts of people. <laughs> Ummati, Ummati. Wah, Ya Rasulullah, maaf pe qurban da. Jis din maa nahi poosh rahi, nabi nahi poosh rahi, beta nahi poosh rahi, bai nahi poosh rahi. To wahaan, meri aap ke da. Joli phaila ke khode. Ya, meri ummat ko. Ya Allah, meri ummat ko. If I didn't get down and pray that one prayer, and feel it in my heart and cry. I felt something physically turn in my heart. After that prayer, life changed. And I'm, I'm no better than any of you, but I know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took that bitterness out of my heart. And He could take it out of your heart. You don't have to be bitter. You don't have to be what this world made you. The Quran and Muhammad wants you to rise above what the world made you. You're a servant of Allah, not a servant of the world. And when we internalize that reality, we will change this world. Salam. You cannot create harmony and balance in the world out there and not be balanced within ourselves. If you cannot control what's happening, then challenge yourself to control how you deal with what's happening. That's where the power lies. Start 
is something strange, this religion, and it's gonna end as something strange, then go out and be strange, man. If it's strange to take in refugees or adopt orphans or be somebody who is simply good to people because they're people, then be strange. Each and every one of us in this gathering will have a moment where shaitan will say, you're not worthy to be loved by Allah. And that's when you say to shaitan, you don't get to dictate the terms of this relationship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has invited me back to him no matter how far I go. trends will come and go, nations will rise and fall, civilizations will wax and wane. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us they want to extinguish the light of Allah with their mouths. يُرِيدُونَ لِيُطْفِئُ نُورَ اللَّهِ بِأَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَاللَّهُ مُتِمُّ نُورِهِ And Allah will indeed perfect His light even if the negators negate it. I'm gonna shower you with love and affection. Look out, I'm coming, coming in your direction. I'm gonna make you love me. So this is my question to you. No, 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 no. Don't encourage him. Don't. No, don't, don't encourage him. Don't encourage him. He started. Don't, don't encourage him. I was doing the she. This is my question. <laughs> We do now see RIS at a pivotal point. The work that is being done by one generation, alhamdulillah, is being elevated and continued by the generation that they inspired. I've had an amazing experience. It's my first time here, so it's, it was actually very touching. <laughs> So if you have the opportunity, you must circle it on your calendar every year, without fail. RIS, we're going there. Loved coming here, it was so much fun. It really does revive your spirit. You have to experience it at least once in your lifetime. This is our first year coming and we had a really good time. I've never been anywhere like this before. RIS is actually one of the highlights of my year. It's a very brilliant uh, convention. How excited the people are to not just see what's new and innovative at RIS, but really just to be here. Uh, RIS is, is, uh, is amazing. I've, uh, I've never visited an event uh, like this. It just brings the community together every single year. It literally, you are reviving the Islamic spirit. All the speakers have been just life-changing. It is a powerful experience not to be missed. Not to be missed. La ilaha illallah. The conference is like, it's like transformed my life. It was my birthday six days ago, and I paid the money for the tickets to go to RIS. <laughs> revive your Islamic spirit, especially if you are having a down year. One of the most uh, uplifting place to be. Something you need to do at least once, and uh, if you do it once, you'll be here every year. Get some inspiration and inspire others. If you have the chance, you should definitely come. Reviving your Islamic spirit, and that's exactly how I feel. It's the best convention I've ever been to. Amazing. I regret the fight when you put to same. Like it's wonderful. Very strong experience. I have seen some uh, videos about uh, uh, RIS, but uh, being here is something completely different. And there's just a lot of thought put into 
every single detail to make sure that it's a good environment for people. You will leave at a higher station than when you entered. And by the time they leave, they're, they're invigorated with the renewed energy and the spirit feels more alive. There's nothing anywhere in North America, I think, these days quite like RIS. <laughs> piece of ourselves behind in all the creative work that we do. with the light of Rasulullah in our, in our lives and in our dreams, everybody say Ameen. The RIS convention has established itself as one of the premier conventions in North America. Alhamdulillah, I've been coming for uh, a number of years and it's grown larger and larger. Uh, the speaker list has gone even more exciting. Definitely a special year for RIS, I think, especially for people who are like me, veterans uh, of this amazing Islamic uh, get together. Many people in the Ummah are looking to us as, as role models and people who really have to crack some of the questions about Islam of the West integration, science, modernity, tradition, progress and hope and RAS is exactly that kind of crucible, that kind of uh, uh, hot house. entertaining, number two, educational, and number three, inspirational. And risk is all of them. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.